charge this left. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome to a new video of Retro Wheels. We're just done cleaning up from dropped. My dad was here cleaning up the shop, so the mess at the tire mounting machine is all gone. We have a beautiful, nice working space. I started it on polishing some new lips. They go from this to this. More on that tomorrow. Now I'm closing down the shop because we're doing another road trip. I'm buying some more wheels. The road trip was good, a lot of scars, unloading is for in a minute. First, we need to start building some wheels. My dad is here, he's packing a set of wheels now and then we can start building wheels. But first, I wanted to show you guys two things. To start with, the quality from the lips I receive from Falcon Fuchs. It's a real disaster. I don't know if you can see the difference, but in real life you can clearly see the difference i'll get my camera back this is how i get a lip delivered dull full of scratches so i need to repolish the complete lip to get to this result as it should be a lot of extra work and that's why we charge more for a new lip than falcon fuchs charges that what charges for a new lip because this in my eyes is not a new lip and then a tip for the hobby wheel builders you don't need all of this to seal a wheel because now i have to do a crazy cleanup the wheel was of course leaking so another problem we need to solve today Lips are polished, lips are prepped, everything is clean. Now it's time to build some wheels. My dad is here already mounting the one to the third custom OZ Turbo. Then we have a set of lips and barrels waiting for some Eta Betas. And then we have some Ren Sports also to build. I'm going to get to work because we need to build a lot of wheels. another busy day evolving two of the outside lips of the rent sports are done centers are waiting to be built then we are building the adabedas one is done number two is done 
And then we got number three laying ready and my dad will be here in a minute so he can help building some more wheels. I'm going to polish the two last Erabera nuts and then we're off to building some beautiful sets. I'll show you guys a little cool before and after. This is how we got them in. Full of all sorts of shit. And then this is how they will end up at the end. Freshly polished, time to build. Two more to go. Three piece builds are done, Etabetas are ready, OZ Turbos are ready and the E50s are ready. We only need to kit them. But now we finally found some time to unload our scores from Monday. And that's a busy day almost done. It's unbelievable, it's Wednesday and the table is looking full already. We did a lot of bills this week. Time to show you the scores of Monday. A set of BBS RGs 18 inch, a set of 18 inch Porsche, two piece BBS wheels, a set of 20 inch S lines, set of 19 inch speed lines, to kill of course. Then we got ourselves a set of Volkswagen teardrops, to also kill so we can make a trick piece project of those two other sets are already on the way to the powder coater that was for earlier today and then the last set is this as good as new set of bbs chr wheels now i'm getting the pasta on the bridge i think because i need to do a little tire chains the little pasta project won't happen today it will be before tomorrow because drop it low garage pick the pasta up to do a maintenance so I'm off now to taking some pictures and to prep some more orders of you guys. Thanks for ordering. And that's the air compressor. That's what happens with a wheel once it gets back from the powder coater. 
we prep it we take pictures we box it and now it's waiting for you guys to maybe buy these beautiful oz wheels <laughs> My dad has just left the building, he prepped some hex nuts. So now it's time for us to make these beautifully prepped hex nuts into these beautifully polished hex nuts so we can mount some rotating caps in them. I'm going to get them polished and then I'm going to show you guys the best end result ever, a BBS RS with a self-leveling hex nut and send recap. I think there is no better thing than a freshly polished billet hex nut. All rotating center caps for RS, for RS and this for a client. In America, why do people buy these for their RSs? Well, and that's the reason. These don't fit your normal BBS hex nuts because they have a bigger hole. So. If you order them in the web shop for your BBS RSs, don't forget to order a set of custom hex nuts also. We have them in big thread and we have them in small thread. Small thread is 4x100, big thread is mostly the other 5 holes. Now it's time for some beautiful cinematics because the Eta Betas will be picked up in a minute. <laughs>
now it's time to end the week with one last project. Some of you might recognize this wheel. We don't do custom speed lines alone. We also do some custom mini cross spokes. This is also a, a wheel made by BBS. We machined the face so it has a little bit of an LM style look. We can fit a BBS center cab in it now. So let's get started. We're first going to clean the threads, then we're going to polish the lip, and then you guys can see the beautiful end result. As you could see that was not so good of an update we killed three four five five threads so now we're gonna get the bad thread out and put a helical in so we can fix the center the right way I think we need to leave the custom BBS project for next week because it's getting time to prep the facade. It's already on the bridge. We were test fitting a new tire size. I was running 195.40.17 but the stretch was a little bit too much for me. So I ordered 205 40 17 but i wasn't sure if it would fit but the stretch is a lot better and i think we have a little bit clearance not much but a little bit so that's okay i'll give you guys a better view when the other tire is on and the car is on the ground again so let's switch one tire wash the car and then we are ready for the camber meet tomorrow at the nurburgring Passat is looking fresh again, ready to take the daily to the camber to hell meet at the Nürburgring. That's that and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
And that's the end of another amazing week at Retro Wheels. We sold a lot of wheels. We need to fill up the showroom again. We built a lot of wheels. We went to a cool car show together with the family. So I enjoyed this week a lot. Now it's time to end this video. Now it's time to thank you all for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.